swinene sukuro shonga swinene muhlaleri wa amkerwa eka 48 hours nongonoko lokutisela ka ta mintiro ku swina wena itintsolo la mshewetaka eka sukura na muhla iti humese nyana iti le etswane itlo ta hlangana ba jones bombe ba nga hitsala ba ku bona ba rantsa science na mathematics ikwalawo ba teke xi bolo le xi nga ta vangenisa eka ntiro lo famisa na kana ti jones o leti intiro wi lona lavula kai wona lang talesi Ever wonder where products such as petrol and synthetic fibers come from? The answer is they come from oil. The professionals behind these are chemical engineers and they are all about changing raw materials into useful products that you and I use every day. Eka spem leswi nga hundza. Hi mi dyondzi se hi waste water management. Xana a usti va ku butla hi seki bya mati na ku endliwa ka ti plastic. Xo huma eka vutivi bya chemical engineering. Unga karateki, wata jonza sotala. Aito ni nkwa jonzi wa mwayana, bati wa kufika kwenye ntero wa siku. Iku tiba kawena, the chemical engineers titi raini. Ogre kali di chemicali, finding and discovering new chemicals. Well, the chemical engineer, they mainly work in laboratories, to check experiments, and they're also involved in the making of vitari medicines. Ima nwanja nlanga tira ka ntirolo, kumbe kufaneru wa ntirolo. You just have to be a person that, that is willing to work hard. You should have a positive attitude in what you're doing. First of all, a, person, a chemical engineer should be a very focused person. Should be a person no longer able to work under pressure. He should, he should be focused at all times. Loko staka mali, mbuyelo wako na ufa mali. Maybe 35,000 somewhere there. Approximately 75,000 per month. Somewhere kubuma hundred and something thousand. I've lovely tea Jonzo. Iti let nga pule la kamunu ndela yo Jonzo lantero lo. You should have physical science, math, life science and geography. I believe ki physical science, life sciences, mathematics. Loko se upasile nda nga kumembiri. Unga Jonzo la kui ndero lo. You can do that at an FET college. Um, also by the universities and all that. And if you want to do the more technical stuff like uh, practical stuff, you can go to TUT and other places. It's uh, University of Pretoria and then it's also a virtual university and UKZN. I have lovely Kutoriwa. Muna anga Toriwa kui. Kenahana hori, the chemical engineers, they work good planting. They usually work in laboratories and in, 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 in um, petroleum institutions like Sasolbeck um, Petroleum. When you must take a look at a chemical engineer? Uh, no, because I get out of the whole deal around chemicals and stuff. I would prefer to go mining engineering than chemical engineering. Yes, if I can get more information about the career, I would. Chemical engineering, yati beka sinene, asklamari stok wa jonzi ba ina, bati ba ita yona. A ito nene kwe carrier board, yi yiko mele yini. Chemical engineers are responsible for tackling many of today's global challenges. This is achieved by altering the chemical, biochemical or physical state of a substance to create everything from the development of vaccines to protect people against pandemic flu, stem cell therapies to cure blindness, through to renewable energy, as well as greener solutions to waste treatment. Good grades in mathematics, physical sciences and chemistry will sure put you on the right path for admission at an institution of your choice. Remember, entry requirements vary between tertiary institutions. You can get more information on your preferred institution's chemical engineering website. Chemical engineers must enjoy solving problems and be committed to keeping up to date with advances in this fast-changing area. You must have strong communications and interpersonal skills to interact with engineers from other disciplines. Chemical engineers should also have an excellent grasp of modern technology, including their ability to use computers. For example, you may use computer-aided design technology in design and research work. Opting to study chemical engineering can open up a range of employment avenues. Chemical engineers are employed across a wide range of business by both large and small companies, petroleum refineries, pharmaceutical, biotechnology and service industries, manufacturing industries. With enough experience, one can be self-employed. Ba jonzi ba sukura na muntla, iti ntombi timbiri le tinge tona, ati la kutira nti roo mwanyana, ande ka nti roo wa siku. Ay, tlangane nina vona.
I'm very good at science and then enthusiastic Kayona. The strong points are my good communication skills, and then the dream career is to become a chemical engineer. I'm in grade 12 and I'm 17 years old. I'm going to questions and then I'm discover a lot of And I also enjoy laughing. I love mathematics and life sciences. The strong point is that I go interact with my peers, my teachers, and other people as well. I'm going to a chemical engineer. Hey girls! Hi! How are you? Hi! Then I get a Yamaburi, Le Amo. Welcome to 48 Hours. Are you happy? Okay, I'm going to talk about chemical engineering. Okay, tell me, where did you hear about this career, Amo? Um, my physical science teacher is basically my motivator. Mm -hmm. Yes, he encourages me daily. Yeah, that's his role in my life, yes. I first heard it from. Um, the career expo in Interdita Mayang last year. And then I did more research, Kayona. And then when I came back, Moskolong, our teacher put more emphasis on it. So I decided, okay, let me just give chemical engineering. A okay. Chance. I can see how you guys, you know, how you are okay, now go building a thing and you understand what it's all about, I guess. Okay, so how many of you t shirts, go to the para and meet me go in front of the building at school, I guess. chemical engineers. I went and my name is Chris Potkitter. I'm the owner and director of Vistor Chemicals. We are a highly specialized chemical engineering company concentrating on the screening, pre-feasibility and feasibility studies of chemical technology commercialization projects. Good morning, Mabore. Good morning, Amor Welcome sir. Welcome to Vistor. I hear you girls want to become chemical engineers. Let's go through to my office for a discussion. Why are you girls interested in becoming chemical engineers? Can I let Katya help because I also want to be part of the conversion of raw materials into usable products. And you, Amukholan? Well, na kikakihile because I love science and then I'm enthusiastic guy on anything that karatawala finding out more and as she said, you get to be part of the, the whole process, yeah, who change the raw material into a product along with like your Berkisaki, everyone. That's very good to hear because um, we need chemical engineers in this country. So, Chris, why are you a chemical engineer? I chose to be a chemical engineer because it's um, part of the solution for our difficulties we are experiencing. We are job creators, not job consumers. <laughs> we create the wealth, mm. taking the periodic table to the usable products that you have been saying. So Chris, how can you a chemical engineer? You start, first of all, at school with an interest in chemistry. Because the heart of chemical engineering is still the chemical process. So, your, and your mathematics, your marks need to be high. You need to be a top performer in the 80s or 90% category. So that is where you start. I'm going to tell a guy who is a chemical engineer. Pretoria University has got an excellent um, chemical engineering faculty. WITS has got an excellent chemical engineering faculty. Or down in Cape Town in Stellenbosch University, also an excellent. You can either go for a diploma 
and a BTEC, um, or you can go for a BSc degree. I think I'm going to be a chemical engineer here in South Africa. The skills, like you know, there's a serious skill shortage, so opportunities are many and wide and varied, but it's specialized opportunities for which you need to prepare and work hard to be able to, to get to them. Also depending on which area you have chosen. Ngakola within the field via chemical engineering. We can look at that question from two sides. The growth, yes, there's a lot of growth. Um, you can grow out of chemical engineering into a manager, into a business owner, um, into um, business development. You can grow in another direction. You can grow into a more um, theoretical field where you are designing equipment and you are commissioning plants and you are operating plants. A chemical engineer specializes in everything. You must understand electronics. So the electronic engineering part you will study. The mechanical engineering part you will study because to design your equipment for them to function, you need to have that knowledge. Um, on the finances side, products need to make money. That is what wealth is all about. So the profit part, you need to understand and you need to be able to build the financial models that will show you that your chemical process will be making money. Kiri challenges steady if it's on a daily basis. There are a, a few things that are challenges. I would start with information. There's a lot of information. Um, just to understand one subject like reactive design, you have got a, a handbook of a, over a thousand pages which you need to work through. So the volume of information you need to be able to digest when you are studying and later when you are working is huge. You pointed out that you are good with communication. So that personality skill or, or characteristic of you will suit you well. The third one I will say is time. These processes take many years. Um, to build a petrochemical um, factory that produces petrol for instance, it can take even up to 10 years. You will never have a boring moment and the chances that you will sleep more than four hours a night is slim. <laughs> how? <laughs> Since a kilo rwala four hours, how much money am I going to earn? It's very over a very wide range. If you're functioning in an SMME like me, um, you can start with very low, 10,000, 15,000 a month, 20,000, depending on how many projects you have, depending on how many customers you have. On the corporate side, the starting salaries are more stable, more around 20 to 30,000 a month. Um, and as you move up the career path and you do some extra studies, business administration studies and financial and your skills improve and you move up in the ranks, um, guys at my level in the corporates easily earn more than 100,000 a month. So Chris, what are like to plan to be chemical engineers? I've got a surprise for you tomorrow, so I'm not going to give that surprise away now. So um, let me show you tomorrow. Thank you for your time. It's a pleasure. Thank you for your interest. <laughs>
so I want you to go through the internet and then you can check uh, how the link chain works using the keywords that I wrote down for you. I'm searching for bauxite mining, mm -hmm. which is the first keyword. Let us see if we can graphically draw the value chain. Okay, what do I do? So the remember the value chain is um, the segment. So the first one is the mining of the bauxite. So that is the first box you draw. Now remember, what is the input into the first box then? Yeah, the which bauxite. is called bauxite. bauxite. Okay. At the mine and the refiner, um, they need to tell us now what comes out. What's coming out is alumina refining. So it's a refining process producing alumina. So alumina goes into the next box. Your bauxite is your input. Okay, and the output from the mining, this box is the mining and refine. This box is the primary process. So your alumina is the input into this box. The alumina is the input for which process? Oh, it's the input for the process of producing aluminium. Aluminium Correct. Is Okay, you are transforming alumina so into aluminium. And aluminium is the output from this box. Chris explains how the chemical engineering process comes into play. From the time bauxite is mined, goes through various processes to be finally transformed into aluminium. Now we are already starting to branch here. This aluminium bullets coming out of the aluminium smelter are either rolled and processed when your product is a pure aluminium. Aluminium is a fascinating and flexible metal. It has qualities that make it a perfect fit for everything from food preservation to cell phones to airplanes. Chances are you use aluminium several times a day and we continue to find new and surprising applications. The aluminium bullet can also go into the alloying process. So there are two types of alloying processes. There are the master alloy, and then there are the standard alloys. The master alloys include grain refiners, hardness, and modifiers. Okay, are those the products out of our master alloy production box? What is typically a grain refiner? It consists of what? Aluminium plus what? A grain refiner includes titanium. It's one of the example of grain So it's an aluminium-titanium alloy. Yes. If the other one is boron, the also argument. known as grain refiner. Also known as a grain refiner. Also known as KBF4. KBF4 is the input into the master alloy production process. Your grain refiner, the alloy, is an aluminium-boron alloy. Terminology in chemistry, like you know, is very important. You need to play with the keywords. If you don't find, you need to find other keywords. It's like being Sherlock Holmes. You know, you're really like a detective. There's a bit of raw aluminium. There is ferrosilicon, which is the material used in the alloy production process to insert silicon into the aluminium. Of course, it needs to be molten, so it's a high temperature process. The aluminium smelters uses a huge amount of electricity to melt the aluminium or the alumina to produce the al aluminium. Remember in your feasibility study where you do the financial, the operating, the OPEX part has got a huge electricity component in, in these metal processes because you need to melt that um, in order to process it and to make alloys from it. That is a very brief summary of um, the many roles that the chemical engineer can play. Okay ladies, thank you for your contribution. I hope you learned a lot. I and do. I hope your career path for chemical engineer is paved now. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hi. Sure. <laughs> 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 it was a lot of fun. Is it? Yes. Okay, alright. How did it go? Um, it was great. Mm -hmm. I learned lots of things and exciting. It was great. Is it? I got to learn how to Okay, I learned that chemical engineer, okono, like, u, 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 u,
all in one. You don't know the issue. How? Yes. And then a relationship both a relationship with a metallurgical engineer. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's very interesting. Mm. Okay. All right. Taruto in I'll say how was the experience? Well, it was an eye opener. Being with Mr. Chris was very like it was nice. Mm -hmm. Um the most exciting part was where we did the value chain where we used aluminum as an example because it's as Mr. Chris said you're not job consumers but job creators. Yes, you have yeah. to study and good luck with that. Thank you. Okay. And the castle and I saw one of the Kakon, Mutaler, Umunzu Kuzawena, Zilema Bokenia Wena, Equalao, the Catalan Tarwa Kupumela. I don't know what Binzu will come in. Libitola Kaki, Freddy Motau, Libitola Company Kaki Riba Chemicals, Re Manufacturer the Industrial Chemicals, and then Company Ena. I started in 2005. Yeah, initially, I was a company like I'm um, from a chemical background. So what happened is that um, I only have technical technical expertise, but I didn't have administration expertise in terms of you know how to run finances and those type of things. So those were the challenges at the beginning. But uh, at the end, I overcame the challenges by studying uh, business management, also you know accounting all those type of subjects in order to be successful, including marketing and sales. So those were how I have overcome the challenges. Okay, Restatile Relay 4, and then today we are 15, and then company Kamko Ekulanka thing, we, we are expanding currently as you may see outside. And then we also trying to get technology from, you know, overseas in order to clean, to build a big manufacturing plant. We supply mining, uh, we supply Boescom, we've got also clients for steel industry, we've got clients in water treatment like Bo Rent Water, and then we also have ordinary clients, you know, small companies that come and buy from us. Yeah, since we're not our own business, you've got a lot of time that you can utilize on your site. Like Hosea Rezala Motomong, it's very difficult, you know, to, to go out and do things that you like. And also, you know, financial independence is another factor, you know, and then also, you know, it, it, it's a passion, it's something that you sort of like, you know, enjoy every day when coming to work. Yes, that's what I like about my business. Yeah, advice to the aspiring business people, the first thing that you must do is to open education. By education, I mean education is relevant to donated chemicals, like OPSC chemistry, body diploma in chemistry. That's the first advice. And the second one, go to an industry as a chemical sale. Get an experience. It doesn't have to be 15 years experience, even if it's one or two years experience. And then during that time, we to say that make sure that you know the system from A up to Z. I think in 2000. Shana unga stake la kubana ina laka 48 hours. Loko suri tano, ita leli eka 48 hours at sabc.co.za. Kumbe Facebook page ya ina kunga SABC 48 hours. Kuma kamina na batirukuloni, nerthla isekani. Na sona, aishangani na kambi viki lirtaka.